Hello, 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 everyone. It's your buddy, Jay Rasik, and I'm hoping that you are having the best day of your entire life today. And today is a great day because we are going to finally be releasing our Mega Utility Pack. And, uh, you know, to kind of give you a heads up on this, this is a very large blueprint. Uh, so uh, what I actually plan on doing is I'm going to release uh, one large blueprint, um, and then I will be releasing several small smaller versions of it uh, so then you don't have to place all this down in your zoo in one big shot uh, so without further ado we're gonna go dive right into it and show you exactly what's all included in this beautiful utility mega pack first off we have our high-rise power lines right here uh, and I have the power lines uh, I have a, the totems as well as uh, the transformers that you can put on them as well What's really nice about this is that it is, uh, you can actually just kind of um, play around with it a little bit um, to make it, uh, you know, go the way that you want. Um, you can kind of extend it that way. Uh, otherwise, uh, I did give an option of selecting this here, and you can just kind of move it out and about um, the direction that you're wanting to go. Um, so, like, if you're wanting to kind of move it around and create, like, some curvatures and stuff like that you have that capability of doing that here just like so so it's uh, not perfect but it gets the job done done for the most part there you go so there you can kind of make some curves as you're going around through there um, again uh, I do have the power transformers that are based off the the uh, power line totems as well as our relay power section here our power station uh, and you know I left the, bu the buildings empty so you can put whatever you want in here you can put in uh, some st uh, staff building if you want here uh, maybe some uh, other utilities I do have some power gener transformers here as well as well as our power conduit box and they're all connected and so forth to kind of give it that realism so I really I like that Really proud of how well that turned out. Next up, we have our pad mounted transformers, which basically you see in front of homes or small businesses, stuff like that in the boulevards or, or uh, in the back area. Um, basically, they, they lower the power uh, outage, uh, wattage and so forth from the main power lines to your homes or business. Then, of course, we have our commercial power transformer uh, or generator. I really loved how this turned out. I added the grunge details, uh, decals on there and stuff. Gives it that rustic look. Uh, of course, you can always take them off if you don't like them. Um, you know, they're pretty select, easily to select. Um, so, you know, it's just really your own preference on your one. I wanted to kind of give it a, a worn out look that it's been there for a while. Uh, then we also have our fuse boxes or electrical conduits for like inside buildings. Um, then we have a larger electrical conduit. This was actually inspired by Toad's Play as I put it here on the sign. Uh, he actually designed most of this here. I dissected his and just redid it basically is what I did. Um, and so it looks a lot exactly like what he was uh, doing. Uh, but uh, I just implemented with some newer pieces and so forth. This was completely designed by Toad's Play. Uh, but what I did is I actually did uh, reduce the piece count on it. And then also added uh, the cabling verse where he had uh, some thin planks that we use here. And then, of course, my pride and joy of this entire pack. And I, I don't know why. I mean, I, I just love it. <laughs> As the fire sprinklers and the smoke detectors, I think they turn out really, really well. Um, and, you know, you can uh, play some around throughout your build um, to kind of give it a more realistic look. Uh, and then uh, that concludes the power aspect of the mega pack, mega utility pack. Uh, next, we have our telecommunications, which includes the satellite dishes here. And we also have uh, two cell phone towers, different sizes. And then, of course, this beautiful monstrosity, our radio tower. And I tell you what, I am very happy with the way that this turned out. And it is absolutely gorgeous in my opinion I cannot set stress how proud I am with how this pack has turned out um, I also have a the 
uh, aviation lights on there and everything like that to warn airplanes uh, that may be flying through your zoo that hey there's a power uh, a radio tower there um, so I think those turned out really really nice indeed next up we have our uh, water or actually we're gonna go down and start off with our HVACs which includes our the flagship of the HVAC which is our dual furnace 2.0 and it's a lot like my original furnace one I just added a lot of European packs a little bit more of a um, of the uh, of the LEDs uh, in there and so forth to kind of give it a, a little virtual there and then uh, um, I changed the did some different uh, HVAC sizing here which uh, leads us to our HVAC uh, ventilation ducts and I have them on modular here and non modular here so you can just kind of play around with the, however you want to do it uh, then we also have our rooftop air conditioner air exchangers and then also our side building air exchanger air or AC unit and that will conclude the HVAC um, version of the utility pack next up we have our water uh, portion of our utility pack which includes our flagship one of our flagships here which is the planet zoo water tower um, we got a, quite a few of these in my area um, where so I just kind of took a, an idea from what I saw my local neighborhood and just kind of implemented it into the planet zoo it is completely flexi color so you can go ahead and change it whatever color you want um, so that's kind of nice on that avenue uh, and then of course uh, you know you have a concrete um, I did, and the only thing that's not uh, flexi color is the wa uh, metal plank wall there uh, moving on through the water pack here we have uh, the water softener our large water tank storage reservoir uh, large water heating tanks uh, wastewater reservoir and our water tank dispenser including in the water tank uh, water pack uh, we will have three different sizes of piping we have large medium and small I did not put them on a grid and honestly it's not that hard to do just put a wall into it merge the merge it into scenery and bada bing bada boom you got your own uh, modular system also will include water meters a manhole sewer, sewer cover and of course a fire hydrant part one of the water uh, aspects of this pack that is will be in its very own uh, blueprint will be the planet zoo water treatment center we'll just kind of take a little look in here basically it has a staff building off to the left to the right we have a realistic garage that you can put whatever you like in there to uh, round about your zoo put vehicles in there and stuff like that we have four water, large water tank uh, uh, temperature regulators and then we have six uh, water filtration systems that goes direct that connects directly to the uh, wastewater uh, then we also have our large water storage tanks which do connect to the water regulations our water temp regulator and then we also have a utility room which is a secured door um, this is going to be a blueprint on the steam workshop as well so I'll keep a lookout for that uh, using our furnace 2.0 blueprint as well as our power conduit and I just use the water filtration system as a kind of a, a quick uh, water softener look and then of course we have our water main and our water uh, or our gas mains then on the other side of the building we have our control panel room which basically is this right here and you could just use these billboards in what any way you see fit um, you could just uh, go ahead and uh, oh actually these are not billboards I had them as billboards I decided to change them out but you could put billboards in there if you wanted to whatever you want to do and then of course that brings us over to the back side which is our waste disposal uh, system that uh, our waste storage tanks which then goes to our water filtration system so then your zoo has clean water so that concludes the water aspect of here next up we have our natural gas portion of our mega utility pack and we have our uh, large 
and medium sized gas uh, gas lines. Uh, some gas meters. We have a gas main uh, pipes here. And I also did a little modular portion there as well. We have our medium commercial gas main as well as our industrial gas main and pipes. And I tell you what, this took a while to do um, because I had to make sure that all these pipes were going to one place or another within this blueprint. So <laughs> I'm really proud of it though. Uh, last up, we have our uh, gas compression station, which is usually found along the main highway or something like that, uh, leading into a residential or industrial section. Uh, with the power conduits, I do have two workshops in here as well. Um, alongside with a roof HVAC system. And then uh, finally, last but not least, we have uh, a fun little tool here that I provided for you guys, which is the pre-made utility mo uh, modular corridors. And basically what you can do is you can select uh, the one that you want and just copy and just duplicate it along, just like so. And that way, you have a nice corridor that you can use on your own. So I really like how that turned out. I'm very user friendly. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy that. As some bonus pieces here, we have some garage bay doors here. And finally, we have some security fencing uh, with some barbed wire at the top. So there you have it. That is the Planet Zoo Mega Utility Pack. If you see something here that you think that should be in here and you'd like me to try and build, definitely comment down below. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time viewing it, uh, please feel free to subscribe for upcoming content. As always, uh, you know, make sure you like these videos and subscribe. So, again, if there's anything that you think that I should have included that I didn't, feel free to let me know. I'd be happy to try and see what I can do to try and build that and put it in the next DLC, uh, uh, next uh, utility pack blueprint release onto it. Um, or just add it on to the current one. So, till next time, ladies and gentlemen, as always, build, play, and enjoy. This is Jay Rasic signing out. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button and put a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to my weekly release content. Follow me on Steam, Discord, Twitch, Twitter, and now even Facebook. Until next time, build, play, and enjoy.